So what ultimately made you decide to actually come back into and I know you shoot mostly for but you're shooting like some stuff for some like smaller studios and stuff like that. So what led you to make that decision? So actually I was at a music video shoot with my husband um, for his music and him and his manager, we were just, well, we were all just sitting in the living room after we had shot and just talking about like things that I had been experiencing. So like I was working in bartending and I had been like, all the bars that I was working with, I was getting noticed, right? Then, like, my bosses were like, oh, we have Leah Gotti here, like, working with us, blah, blah, blah. I was working for a rooftop company, and I was so, I loved it. Like, mm-hmm. I was making great money, right? And then one day, I randomly got called into the office, and, like, we're transferring you. And keep in mind, I was working at a pool, and I was dressed so cute. Like, mm-hmm. I was having so much fun. Mm-hmm. And then I get transferred to working at a Mexican restaurant where I'm supposed to be wearing pants, a collared shirt. And, like, I don't fucking want to be a waitress. I don't want to yeah. be, like, I like being a bottle girl. I like being a cocktail girl. Yeah. Um, I reached out to the owner of the hotel because that's who got me the job. And I was like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening to me? At the time, I didn't even have my ears pierced because um, I have really sensitive ears. So I didn't have earrings. And he came back and told me, oh, they said that you were taking your earrings out to fight somebody. And I was like, fucking what? I was like, I don't even have my ear. I have a phone in my video, like um, a video in my phone of after that conversation, like just me in tears, hysterically crying. Like, uh, why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. You know, then come to find out, he finally figured out, like the girl who was like the manager found pages of me fake pages of me because I didn't have an Instagram of Leah Gotti. I just mm-hmm. had an Instagram of Reagan. Mm-hmm. And that's like when I found out there was like so many pages of me. People. Oh, like fake accounts, like right. catfishing accounts. Catfishing accounts, hundreds. And like people using old videos and like pretending to be me on live streams and like all these things, making money off me. And um, I was confiding into my husband and his manager like, I don't know why people hate me like for this. Like, I don't like I don't think that what I was doing was bad. Like, I don't understand why it is affecting me. I had been fired from lots of jobs, like transferred randomly from lots of jobs, treated differently in lots of jobs, harassed at work. Like even when I was being a personal trainer at the gym, right? Um, my boss pulled me into the office and shut the door, turned this thing around, it was part of me. Like, and he's like touching himself through his pants and like asking me about it. And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do right now? You know, so I'm just trying to get out of there safely. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like I was saying, like, I was still very not confident in who I was. Like, when I first started dating my husband, I told him, I was like, hey, please, like, this is who I am. I've done this, but please don't tell your friends that I'm a porn star or that I did porn, right? And he did. Of course, like any guy, who am I dating? Blah, blah, blah. Everybody treated me differently. Then every time I talk to somebody, like they're talking to me about sex. They're talking to me yeah. about porn. How did he react when you told him? He, like, cause you, did you meet him and he didn't know? That yeah, you... we just met as normal people. Okay. Um, He didn't care. He was like, well, you're an amazing person. Like, you know, you're doing your thing. You're raising your daughter. Like, you know, he was very good. Like, And he helped me. He saw that I was, like, by myself, like, just trying to take care of my kid. Like, I was working, like, two jobs and just doing anything I can to just make her have a beautiful life. Like, Mm -hmm. to spoil her and all these things. And we were just talking. And this was, like, after a year of us dating, I think. And um, they were like, you have nothing to be ashamed of. And I think it was just having someone tell me that. Mm-hmm. Like that you loved and you trusted that I loved and I trusted and I knew, yeah. you know, I really did trust them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look me in my face and say, that doesn't make you less of a person. Like if you wanted to do that now, like we would support you. That must like, have been like an incredibly impactful. I started moment. crying. Yeah. I, I was imagine. like, are you sure? Like I, 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 I don't want my daughter to be taken away from me. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want her to hate me. I don't want to make a choice that's, Bad, like I, I loved doing what I did. 
Like, I never thought it was bad until people started telling me I was bad. Yeah. You know, like, I enjoyed myself. You know, I was making really good money. Like, I was having the time of my life until, you know, I got, fell on my face because of other things. And they were just like, you should just do it. Like, you have nothing to be worried about. Like, we're here for you. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.